what's it been like trying to get your name out here in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, well, we got into the race uh, with three months to spare because no one else was going to get in and give the American people a better option. We felt strongly that that needed to happen. Uh, and after the conventions, when we realized that surely no one else was going to get in, uh, I decided to, to launch this campaign. Uh, but the reality is, is that we've been able to generate a lot of momentum in the Mountain West. Um, that's been measured in Utah, and we're doing quite well there. We're leading in, in polls, or, or we're tied. Uh, here in Idaho, there, there's been less polling, so we're not exactly sure where we are. Uh, but we have seen increased momentum in terms of digital engagement from Idaho, as well as from our events. So Idaho rejected Donald Trump very strongly in the primaries and Hillary Clinton. Uh, we're the only conservative ticket in this race. Donald Trump is not a conservative. Both he and Hillary Clinton are big government liberals who want to grow the size of the federal government. Donald Trump, for his entire life, has been opposed to the Second Amendment. He's been pro-choice. He's been pro-late-term abortion. He's been pro-single-payer health care system, socialized health care. Only when he decided to run for president did he change his positions on all those issues. Those are the same positions that Hillary Clinton has had or does have. So we're the only conservatives. We believe in respecting and enforcing our Constitution. We believe in, in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Uh, we Do you truly believe you have a shot at winning this presidency on election night? and not when this goes to some other place such as the House of Representatives? We've said, we've said uh, pretty much every day that we don't believe it's, it's uh, likely that we can win 270 votes on November 8th in the Electoral College. That's never been our strategy. Our strategy is to do as well as we can so that if the race is close between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, we can block them both. Now right now the truth is the race is not close because Hillary Clinton is dominating Donald Trump by such a large margin. And this is one of the reasons why Mindy and I both said so many times over the course of the last several months to our fellow conservatives and to the Republicans, do not nominate Donald Trump. He will not be able to compete with Hillary Clinton. He, he will lose in a landslide. He will jeopardize our control of the House and the Senate as conservatives. Uh, but. Yep, they went ahead and nominated Donald Trump anyway, and now we see exactly what we predicted playing out. So, so right now the margin is very large between the two of them, and the larger it is, the harder it is for us to block them both. So if we can't block them both, then Hillary Clinton will go on and take the White House because Donald Trump is allowing her to win because he's such a terrible candidate. And that's where we come to the future. In the future, we believe what's required in the future is a new conservative movement. In just two and a half months of this campaign, as we've traveled around the country, and we've been, what have we been talking about? It isn't complicated. We've just been talking about the truth that all men and women are created equal and about the cause of liberty. These are, these are truly conservative ideals, timeless ideals. They're so critical to our country. And we've got to send a, a, a message to Washington. If Hillary Clinton's got to win, we have to send a message. And it can't just be that, that Donald Trump lost. It has to be that there's something new, something for the future, something we can build on. And that's what I'm asking you to do regardless. Vote for me, vote for Mindy Finn, and let's build this new conservative movement. Thank you very much. Thank you.